Get off investments. This is an interesting video. So look what we got in the mail. This, Rudy, let me start by saying I love your content. The magic community needed a voice like yours. I don't know, guys, I'm kind of a effing crazy dude. I don't know if I'm the right voice to represent everybody. You are someone who's not a corporate stock up and willing to speak your mind. All right, I'll give you that. I'm, I'm pretty balls deep, lack of concern about people caring thing. Anyways, been collecting proxies and counterfeits since pre-1995 stuff for grading. Okay. I figured I'm just playing casually. No big deal if I slot a few proxies here and there. Long story short, my hoarding collector mentality took over and I started to seek out proxies. I started with Power 9 and then I started seeking out modern and standard cards. Whether they were from China or bogus eBay auctions, I wanted them. By the way, PayPal is really good about covering their customers when they unknowingly buy fakes. I've amassed more than I should have, and when I saw you start a video series on pretty much proxies and counterfeit magic, I thought I should send some your way. This is a good majority of my proxy collection. I didn't want to pull stuff out of my cube and casual pretty much stuff. Hope you can pass your wisdom on and have fun with these. Cheers, Mike from San Fran. This is going to be interesting. Holy crap. So let's see what we got here, Mike. This is, uh... Please send these back. Oh, prepaid shipping label. Okay, cool. All right. So the pre send me make these go away. This is interesting. Ah, foil stamp. All right. Everybody's been talking. They've been wanting me to talk about the foil stamp on counterfeit cards. Cool. Okay. Very neat. This is going to be awesome, you guys. All right. So this is all proxies. Everything in this video is counterfeit fake. Holy, oh my god, are you guys kidding me right now? Well, let's move some stuff out of the way. Holy crap. Are you guys, wait a minute. Oh my god. Um, can you guys see, is the glare real bad? Do I need to adjust it for the glare? Yeah, we need to tilt, sorry. We're going to tilt this up a little bit so you guys can see pretty good. Holy smokes. Oh my god, there's so many. There's got to be thousands of these things. Oh my god. And then these are the ones he wants to go away. These are the garbage ones. I'm not going to show the backs because the back of these packaging pretty much has like email address and contact information so you guys can order these fake pieces of shit. So I'm not willing to show that for anybody. So it's got a list of all the fake cards in each deck. This is the Deck B Fetchland, Deck C Power 9 inside. It's like, is that supposed to be like Intel inside? Anyways, this is weird as shit, you guys. This is what's going on, huh? Holy crap, this is fascinating. Well, Mike, uh, this is, I have to admit, this is kind of incredible, but... Dude, you spent a lot of money, man. Aren't these things like, even these fake crappy things... Aren't these like $50 a piece or something? Like these fake decks? These are terrible counterfeits. They feel like a fuzzy soft. And the coloring is terrible. The texture is terrible. The thickness is terrible. Those must be different versions or grades. or. Okay, there's another Liliana. That one at least looks better. But oh my god, it feels terrible. Oh my god, is that a, a wax on the back? Okay, at least the... Pixelation looks nice. The rest of it feels like crap. Oh my god, there's so many. There's so many. Holy smokes. It's like endless. Oh my god, you guys. This is mind-blowing. Um, okay. So this is Mike. This is your good binder, huh? These are all the, I guess, these are your favorite or these are the... The good counterfeits, I guess? Is that what we're looking at? Um, I mean, from a distance, they look good. The pixelation looks good from a distance. I can definitely tell you that. I cannot believe in each one of these slots, you have multiples. There's not like one card in each slot. They're thick. Like, there's got to be. Like, how many... Oh, God, the stupid lighting. Sorry, guys. Um, let me figure something out here. Let's try something here. Here, what if we tilt that for you? Is that better? Let me tilt it up some. I'm gonna try. You know what? I'm gonna do this for you guys. We're gonna move over a little bit. 
I want you guys to really be able to focus on this stuff. How's this? Is this a little bit better? All right. I don't think we're going to get it perfect, but at least I just really want you guys to be able to see this stuff. Um, let's try this. Sorry, guys. I'm totally burning the clock here. Let's try something different, shall we? Man, these things are so shiny. They're very difficult to uh, get you guys to see. No, nah, it's not going to work. Sorry, I tried. All right, we're going to go back to just doing our thing here. I wanted to see. I wanted to really make it really crisp and clear so everybody can enjoy this video. All right, that's enough wasting 20 seconds. All right, so let's check out these Lilianas. Oh, my God. There's like 10 of these in this little spot. Jeez, man. Mike, are you serious right now? Dude, how many Lil... Like, I know Lily's like hot and she's our girl and all, but... Dude, seriously? Are these all the same? The colors... Are these all... All right, let's try to, let's try something here. Are these all, so you have these in like perfect fit sleeves? So these are the good counterfeits in your opinion? Coloring's a little off. Still, the gloss is definitely, it's too shiny. Thickness is too thin. Uh, resistance, the flexing is too, sound and feel is terrible. Hold on. Oh, no. Does not have the correct scent at all. Hmm. I mean... I guess in a sleeve, when you guys look at it from a distance, I guess most people wouldn't notice the difference, huh? I don't know. I'm not really that impressed. I don't think the, the quality, to me, it just it stands out a lot. Maybe to... I don't know. I feel like a lot of... Like, these counterfeits and everything... We got to talk about the foil stamp, the hollow foil. I feel like this kind of stuff is targeted to the casuals who just don't know any different. That's what I feel like this stuff is targeted for. I kind of feel... I like this, you guys. This is nice, Mike. You got what? Fake wear? You got some fake wear and tear? Is that what we're looking at here? Let's see what we got. Let's take it out of your perfect fit. What are we looking at here? A time walk? This is supposed to be an unlimited time walk. Looks like it's got some intentional wear on the edges and sides. All right. Thickness is better. Um, texture is still wrong. Flexibility as far as resistance. The actual, res it's just the friction, everything is off. Um, it looks like the individual tried to, looks like scrape it on sidewalk or edges to add more of a realistic look. Let's zoom in, sorry guys. To add more of a realistic look on this fake card to give it a more worn, natural feel. That's, that's fascinating. Um, I don't really know, is that something that's really helpful? See, I don't know, what do you guys think? Um, it, it just doesn't look real to me. I think the, the the best part about this card and these type of fakes is the resolution, the pixelation, not under magnification. The pixelation looks decent when you don't use magnification. I guarantee you if I zoom in and look for that dot pattern, especially on here, I mean, I guarantee it'll be way off. But again, I think an average person, especially if you're walking around a GP or a tournament or something, you're probably not going to realize that you're buying a counterfeit card because, again, if you've never held a bunch, you're not going to know any different. Okay, so we got an Ancestral Recall here. This one's what? Super played? Holy crap, what did you do? Put coffee and Starbucks on it? Did you rub it with like a pencil eraser? And the edging, same thing. Looks like they do side scrapes. Looks like they side scrape each side. The way it's it's very specifically worn on edging. Um, and a little bit of a surface wear to take. Looks like they're trying to take the gloss off to give it a more realistic look and feel. Uh, flexibility is still off. Thickness is still off. Um, the best part I can tell you is the, the pixelation, the actual resolution and printing and the colors is, is actually pretty accurate. Um, still very, I, I don't, to me, it's just nowhere near a real card. But again, you know, when you handle the real ones, you can tell the difference. But I think for a lot of people who haven't, I can definitely see how people could be fooled. Now, I want to look at these. These are newer ones, you guys. Foil, Wizards, Hollow Foil Stamps. All right. First thing I can tell you right off the gate, before we even go any further... Um, the coloring is terrible. This is black and white washed out. Emrakul, the coloring is god-awful. This coloring is just not... I mean, th that gives it away. Whoa! Whoa, we got five coats of clear coat on this bad boy. Super shiny. Super glossy, man. Dude, if I laid this across my bed, and you guys were laying in my bed, I could jump across the bed. I would slide right off and miss you guys. Creepy Rudy not approved. I mean, this is way too glossy. Way too flimsy. This is just... It's just not... And the coloring is terrible. So let's check out this hollow foil stamp. Let's zoom in, you guys. 
All right. Hollow foil stamp. Look at this. Definitely not authentic. First of all, let's get this real nice. Let's see how good we can do this for you guys. I want to get a really good angle here. Okay, so the hollow foil stamp is made up of what? Random circles, it looks like? That is not what Wizard's Hollow Foil is. In addition to that, a Wizard's Hollow Foil stamp has a clean cut circular edge. This has a rough edge going around the Hollow Foil stamp. It's very rough looking. It's not a clean circular Hollow Foil. All that, the whole border of that foil is terrible looking. All right, let's check out the other one. Let's check out Lily here. Let's see what Lily's doing. So we got Lily. Uh, coloring is terrible. Again, too much wax. Wait, the texture's terrible. This sucker looks like it looks like a 16-year-old Rudy out in the driveway waxing his car all day just to try to pick up a hot chick. This is just terrible. All right, let's check out hollow foil. Oh god. Which is worse, my nail or the hollow foil? Let's move my nail. Oh my god, that hollow foil's terrible. It's not even round. That hollow foil stamp, what did some of it flake off? I think some of the hollow foil stamp actually fell off the card. It's not even a it's not even circular. Oh my god, come on you guys, This is that was shit. Wizards ain't got nothing to worry about. At least whoever's producing these cards, I'm sorry, that's that's terrible. You guys gotta do a better job than that. Alright, so that's it for the hollow, so I wanna put that to rest right now. I have yet to see a hollow foil stamped card that even looks respectable, that even looks decent. These hollow foil knockoff, hollow foil magic stamp things, these things are terrible. That is just god, that is, that's, that's a joke, it's so bad. I'm sorry, that is absolutely just god awful, you guys. Okay, so what, you wanna check out this time twister? Check out this time twister real quick. Let's see what's going on with this thing. Uh, alright, ooh, a lot of scraping, huh? Someone's been going, alright, we gotta make it look real, boys. Come on, make it look real, here we go. How's that look? Rudy, does that look good? Rudy, hey, I got a time twister to sell you. Yeah, what is it, Timmy? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gotta get that finish. All right, we're good. Yeah, Rudy, this is a uh, near mint. One original owner, grandma, two basements, three cats, and a goldfish with no fins. Really? <laughs> oh my god, this is real. This definitely looks real. Come on, you guys. You guys need to be just understand what you're looking at. This is just terrible. It just, uh, it just looks so fake. None of it looks real to me. And I, I noticed some of you guys are like Rudy. I, I can't tell the difference in your videos. I guess. I don't know, you guys. This stuff just looks terrible to me. Yeah, so we just put that hollow foil. If somebody else has some counterfeit cards with hollow foils and different things, please send them to me. Because the hollow foils I'm looking at so far that have the hollow foil stamp are just. It's a nice case though. I like a thick plastic case. That's just. That's a joke, man. All right, let's let's check out Mr. Black Lotus, huh? Let's let's see if we can get some of ourselves uh some Black Lotus action. Rudy, Rudy, you got any black lotuses for sale? Yeah, yeah, I got like ten of them. Ha! <laughs> voice of Resurgence. Yeah, good job on that. Heyo! Got to counterfeit some Voice of Resurgence. Sorry, Mike, I don't want to damage your binder. Only one? Only one lotus in this? Oh my god! Is that an orange back? Uh, wanting to sell? Uh, like new condition. Uh, orange lotus. Uh, one original owner. Batman. Oh my god, and Robin painted it on what? Why am I holding an orange black lotus? Are you kidding me right now? That, oh god, this is, whoa, was this one 48 coats of clear coat, huh? Boy, look at that gloss on this bad boy. Texture's terrible, gloss is terrible. Uh, pixelation, how's our pixelation? Not too bad, at least not under, under magnification, I guarantee you. It's going to look, the dot pattern's going to be off way big time. Uh, the black on the border, it just, oh my god. I, I, I just, I'm sorry, I can't get over the orange black lotus. Uh, orange lotus, uh, like new, for sale. Uh, everyone who comes to Alpha Investments, uh, Timmy's Emporium, you get one orange lotus for every stolen prize pack. Oh my god, this is just, this is just terrible. I'm sorry, Mike, I don't mean to bash on your counterfeit collection, but I, everybody around the country and the world has been telling me to talk about these counterfeits. Because they're getting so realistic, people are concerned that the fakes are going to be better than the reals. And to me, I'm just, oh my god, these are all the orange ones. Why are they all orange? What? 
I mean, I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, so clearly the power in this particular group that you purchase, I guess those are all from the same print room. Let's look at something different. What do you guys think? Let's do like an Urza's Destiny. Let's do a Metal Worker. By the way, I want to see somebody counterfeit an Urza's foil, huh? With that little star foil logo. I want to see someone pull that crap off. Whoa, that's not even English. Okay. So we got counterfeit foreign and counterfeit English. Let's check this out, you guys. All right, first thing, do we got orange backs? Okay, okay, no orange back. That's a good sign. Uh, Metal Worker, not too bad, actually. Not too bad at all, you guys. This is, um... Ah, still too glossy. It feels more like a playing card. They're trying. They can't get the paper right. These guys can't get the the paper. The card stock is just the thickness is off. The corners feel funny. The coloring it just without even going into the pixelation because that always gives it away. Just for the regular person who doesn't have a jeweler's loop. I mean, it's not bad from a distance. When you put it in a sleeve. Uh, remember, uh, Tolarian always taught me to put it in a sleeve, everybody. And I wrote that down, and I keep it with me in my wallet at all times. Heh, <laughs> Gaty. So, I mean, that, I mean, okay, the foreign one, this one's actually not too bad. It looks good from a distance. Uh, again, this one, gloss, texture, is just way off. Now, this one's too thick compared to this one. Is too thin. I don't know what the deal is with that. So that's that, you guys. Um, again, Mike, man, I mean, I hope you uh, don't hate me, bro. I know you're one of my patrons and you want to send this to me, but, you know, please don't hate me. I just want to show the world. I don't mean to bash into your counterfeit collection, bro, but I don't know, man. I guess I thought it'd be a little, I don't know, better. What is this? Is that a chains? What is this chains? What is this thing? Why does it look ridiculous? Holy crap, look at the shine on that thing. It's like you take the wax from the produce department. And wax this thing. Oh, this one doesn't... That doesn't... Oh, the orange back. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. The orange back. That's one thing I can tell you guys. That's the one type of people I don't like in this world. Don't like the orange people. All right, anyways. I thought that was funny. Uh oh Wall Street Journal doesn't report me. All right. So, what else we got? Um, okay, let's go over here. Let's see what else is... Uh, we got a... What do you guys think? You want to check out the gin? Let's check out the gin, huh? Oops. Hold on, let's go check out this decision, you guys. Alright. Holy cow. Okay, so this one is not bad, but it just doesn't... This one looks off. Again, same thing with the texture. Oh, we got orange back? Ah, oh, God, the orange back. We're done. God, the orange back kills me. No wonder you gotta have these things in sleeves. And anyways, okay, so this is... I guess it just goes on and on, right, guys? Let me tilt this up some so you guys can see a little bit better. I'm gonna try and make the camera a little bit better for you all. Here, let's try that. So let's let's see how this looks. So I guess it just goes on and on with all these different type of things. I mean, these. I mean, they're nice. I mean, it's cool. So you can build decks and have fun by yourself. But I, I just don't. I don't know. I have a hard time seeing the allure of because Mike, I, you can't tell me, man, that you didn't spend a good amount of money to acquire this many of them. I know you did. I've seen them on those Alibaba Express Chinese websites and, you know, in different Korean Chinese websites in the Philippines. And, and I've seen these things. They're for like $50 to $100 shipped per little deck thing. And you must have spent $500 to $1,000, man. I mean, you spent a lot of money on this stuff. I mean, oh, all right, let's check out a Tempest card. Let's check out a, whoa, how many do you have, Mike? Holy crap, man. You've got, Jesus. How many? Okay, seriously. Playset? Okay, it's a playset. So, let's see. Okay, so we got some dark, two darks, and two lights. All right, I'm kind of curious. This is, uh, ought to be a little interesting. All right, let's check out the back. Let's take a dark one. Let's look at the back. Orange back? No, no, okay. Oh, too glossy. Ooh, very thin. Holy crap. It's a very thin card. Holy smokes. Um... Coloring looks nice, though. Very rich colors. That's one positive thing I can tell you about that. What about the light one? Because, boy, that's a big difference from the color. Light to dark. She got a light one. Whoa! Real light back. This is really funny feeling. What is that, like a... Like a faded back? Huh. Alright. That's cool. Alright, anyways, we're done with this. Mike, I'm gonna send this back to you, man. Send your collection with that prepaid label you sent me. I really appreciate you sending me this. So we can, you know, kind of let the world see this stuff and let everybody kind of see what's going on and see these different types of cards. 
I think a lot of people appreciate it. Uh, before we leave, though, um, let's take a quick minute and let's look at some of these these really these ones you don't want back as you put them, make them go away. I want to see these things. So this must have been like an earlier. Are these earlier counterfeit cards or something? Oh, I got it. Can we, I don't think the camera can focus. There we go. I think these are earlier counterfeits because these look terrible. Look at those colors. Look at these. I mean, they just Imperial Recruiter. They got the colors right. Mana Drain colors look not too bad. Oh god, terrible coloring. Candelabra, your border is ridiculous. You don't even have the margins right on anything. Orange backs, no. Ga Gaia's Gaia's Cradle. Oh, we got some uh, white border revised duels, huh? We got a full set. Um, what do you guys think? Those look real to you? Because they don't feel real. They feel paper thin. It feels like a sheet of paper. Whoa! Do you guys see that? Look at the color. Look how whack, dude. My balls aren't even waxed that much. Look at that! Holy crap! Look at the look at these cards. Yeah, these are pretty bad. I mean, I hope you didn't pay fifty to hundred dollars a deck for these. Okay, I think everyone gets the idea. Wow, what a this is a hell of a video. I mean, I cannot wait to show you guys this, and I cannot wait to show the world this. This is a hell of a video, you guys. Holy smokes! I mean, just wow. And yeah, these are just too dark and just terrible. Who's going to counterfeit a $5 Titan? These things are just dark. Oh my god. These Moxes look terrible. The Berserk looks terrible. Alright, I'm done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Rudy with Alpha Investments. Again, if you guys are buying high-end magic and it's raw or not graded, contact or ask somebody you know or you can trust. You know, ask the guy who puts all his money in Dragon Ball Z. You know, make sure you guys know what you're buying, especially if you're going to be buying these rev revised dual lands or something, where maybe you're not too familiar with them. Maybe you're afraid that, hey, this one looks real. I don't want to get hosed. You know, don't be afraid to ask people. Get a second opinion. Like I said, even on eBay, after you get the card, ask other people. You have usually 45 days to open a case or return on eBay for counterfeit. Most eBay counterfeit sellers disclose it in the listing as a proxy or fake. And, of course, eBay has people in place that flag and remove them, but a few do slip through. Uh, just keep in mind, you know, if you want to play the game and you want to do kitchen table fun and test things out, I understand the point of this stuff. But I want to make it very clear. These things are not cheap. These have no value. These have no value unless you want to lie to people. And, oh, my God, do you guys see that texture? Remember that. These have no actual monetary value. They have fun value if you want to play and actually have cards you can't afford. But just remember, even if you're paying $50 to $100 a deck, I don't know what these run for now, but I remember in the past, that's what people told me. You know, if you're like Mike over here, and Mike, I mean, he, you know, if you're going to spend almost $1,000, that's a lot of money for something with no resale value. So just really consider that, you guys. And again, don't try to fake people out and pass them off as real. That's where you run into problems. Rudy with Alpha Investments, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me what everyone thinks. I have a feeling this video is going to get loaded with questions. Until then, may all your tacos be floppy. Thank you.